north. We've had that cold front that continues also south and east along the coast. What this means for us is that we've got high pressure building in behind our front, bringing less humid air for Saturday. Sunday, you're still going to notice that less humid air for part of the day. Then late afternoon, we get muggy again, straight afternoon storms. And then Monday and Tuesday, we could see some showers and thunderstorms. Pretty nice leading up to most of your weekend. You see the rain chances really jumping up to 50% on your Monday, and we keep the shower and storm chances around. So it looks like we're going to have this unsettled pattern. Most of this, though, is going to be isolated to scattered, and we don't get you into that widely scattered action until Monday. So that's going to still be our best day for rainfall. If we can get some more widespread rain, I think we would welcome it. 59 degrees early tomorrow morning. Lots of sunshine out there for you. Winds out of the northeast at 5 to 12 miles an hour. Might have a nice little breeze at times and highs at 82 degrees. Mostly sunny skies out there. We're cool with 55 degrees there early morning to near 56 in the foothills and 81. Pretty comfortable with an east southeasterly breeze. You notice we might bring in a few clouds by late evening. Mountains, it's less humid. It's going to feel fantastic out there. You combine that with the low 70s, you might actually be grabbing an extra layer as you start out at 50 degrees tomorrow morning. Some upper 40s, maybe not unheard of out in the mountain valleys. So looking good there. Here's that front. It is stretched out down to the south and those passing showers today, mostly confined to Patrick County near Stewart area and a few sprinkles that rolled through northern Stokes as well as Surrey counties and Wilkes too. We had some showers middle of the day. 70 degrees though in Greensboro, 67 winds to Salem and we are doing well everywhere for early tomorrow morning. The summer has been really warm. It's been the warmest summer since 1993, at least so far, based on the, all those 90s we've seen and been racking up in the middle of August now. We've got 78.3 for that average summer high starting out on June 1st. Pollen counts today have been moderate for weeds, so if you notice you're maybe sniffling a little bit or sneezing, it could be the weeds that have come up. We expect to see lower counts tomorrow, but by Sunday we're right back to dealing with moderate weed counts. This is the time of the year that we typically deal with that. We also have dry air after all of the rain kind of missed a lot of spots across the triad. We've got high danger for folks. And in fact, the Winston Salem Airport has not recorded a lot of rain this month. You've got low danger in the foothills and mountains back to moderate danger. So remember to put out those fires too if you're going to be doing any kind of camping or even out back if you might have a campfire. Uh, in the fire pit and we've got 80 degrees out there. Bowman Gray racing for you tomorrow evening. Dry on the tracks should be really great for whatever you plan on doing. We've got risk of high rainfall and that comes into play as we get you into Sunday evening. So until then we're dry. We're pretty comfortable when it comes to the humidity. Most of the day on Saturday Sunday Saturday is gorgeous. It's going to feel really good. Our temperatures out there are in the 80s on your Saturday or Sunday. Similar conditions, but we add more clouds. We're going to stack those up as soon as we get to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. We increase also the shower and storm chances, although some of this may not make it to the ground, at least initially. We're going to be very dry, and it may take a little while to get those shower and storm chances going. By Sunday night into Monday morning, we may have a few waves to make for a wet morning commute on Monday. Temperatures are still mild in the low to mid 60s and a little bit below normal, it looks like right now. Shower and storm chances are in the mix for Monday, Tuesday, and most of next week we will have a slight possibility of one or two showers. Just an unsettled pattern, but keeping us in those low 80s. That's below normal. We love this weekend, though. It's looking great.